So here we are at a nunnery and retreat center in Zongsa. Um, it's a little ways out of town because you have to go up this mountain, but it's beautiful, regardless. And we were so fortunate to be there during, I think it was one of their summer breaks. Um, there were family members and local community members gathered with different performances, like this kind of like comical historical reenactments and singing and dancing. Um, it was pretty much perfect timing for us to be there and for this to be our experience. So this is the toilet and a nun brought me down here to go pee earlier but there was like 50 nuns. We started venturing away from where everyone was gathered and to where the nuns and monks go into actual retreat so this is where they stay. I believe this was the nuns side, sorry. One of them. Once a kid, always a kid. <laughs> Welcome to the congregation. It is time to yak. Okay, so at this point, I feel like the only thing that makes sense is try to pet the horses. But we look so awkward, and my dad must have looked tasty because he went in for a taste. <laughs> So the black clay pottery in Zongsar is a part of an amazing project they're doing um, where basically different villages in the valley have taken responsibility for maintaining specific local traditions um, and then local artisan traditions and then making them available for locals, tourists, or other markets that they can get into. Thursday, in his natural habitat, on his cellular device. Stop it! Zongsai is a beautiful rural valley, but it's also home to a remarkable set of institutions um, focused solely on traditional Tibetan medicine. So this includes a hospital, like in the previous clip, um, a production center for traditional Tibetan medicine, and a state-of-the-art research facility for conducting quality control and research on those medicines and treatments. So here I take you, kind of take you through that facility so you can kind of get a sneak peek.
I love the concept of having this big uh, medical space, especially for traditional medicine, um, traditional Tibetan medicine, in such a beautiful valley because it kind of really naturally inputs or naturally places a contemplative or meditative state of mind into the field of medicine. I think now you have a feel for how all of Zongsai is beautiful, but this Tanka school, um, for those of you that don't know, I studied Tanka painting back in 2011, and I was so tempted, so, so tempted to stay. Welcome to the Dege Parkang, which is the most famous traditional publishing house in Tibet and was formed as a part of the Dege Kingdom. So this publishing house had thousands of wood blocks um, where ancient Buddhist scriptures are carved. So there are some people call them sutra blocks. Um, basically when a new copy is needed of these books, the wood blocks are taken out, inked up, and then paper rolled over them to create a new print. So super traditional woodblock printing um, it was amazing like these guys are so fast in a world of machinery this was very pleasing to experience printing And just a side note, um, it's not just scriptures, so it's not just like books and texts, it's also Buddhist imagery, um, as you can see in the video here. In this temple, as you might say, in this temple of Patton Group, this is um, in its gloss. What is Lamdre? Lamdre is a precious, profound garment. And it has that many numbers of volumes here. And within that, what is present in the Lamdre? There is the Namta biographies of countless, beyond number, mm -hmm. countless sacred, holy, great lamas. Mm -hmm. And also there's the triad of the empowerments, mm -hmm. the verbal transmissions, mm -hmm. and the instructional guidances. Instructional guidance, uh, yeah. verbal trans like, transmissions. Yeah, this is like they, you know, they read the, the text, boom. And then tree is the long explain. 
empowerment. Empowerment, yeah. right. Like empowerment and the verbal transformations yeah. and also the instructional In guidance. Yes. Instructional yeah. guidance. Or instructions. Mm -hmm. But then there's also, uh, this is in Practice. Sanskrit, sadhanas, sadhanas, which means techniques for evoking the deity. Evoking the deity. Yeah. So rituals of, um, of methods of actualizing the deity, evoking the deity. Mm -hmm. And then um, phrases, commentaries on the words of the, the phrases, mm -hmm. etc. Can you pay your chick for dinner? Ah, Japan. Hey, can company company in bed? Last night. Last company in bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, for Okay. Okay. Okay.
，时间很慢，关于未来我没什么打算。又熬到了早上的九点半，不想学是因为刚好你在最后困意，终于把我撂倒，但是我没有料到。听不懂话里有话，下一个蠢蛋，打了几预防针迎接你审判。慢慢的卸下我满身的力气，感受你心跳。我们在雪地里拥抱，在别人面前是冰窖。见到你我才会爱爱爱微笑。以前的自己真的的搞笑，思想还保持着那份老套。如果想抓住这感觉，不让它跑掉，或许只有你才是解药。人生百味，我需要更多的时间体会，需要更浓的爱拿来品味。多对我喂，我想要大声的宣布你是我的妹。未来是怎样，慢慢摸索。为了你，我会更努力拼搏。我想要给你想要的生活。You want make a love？ 这次我真的没喝多，只是有点早了。摸到了 six， 但就被推脱。想让你靠在我肩膀，搂着你，嗅着你的发香。跟过去说句抱歉，喜怒哀乐不用再为谁伪装。不论发生什么，我都会一直在的。这首歌送给你，希望你每天能够快乐 forever。你没问你，给让这世界。